What's up everybody? 915 Mang here doing a video today. I got some free goodies from my buddy from Instagram who happens to work at Marine Depot. Adventures of CLJ. Um, I just want to say thank you. I got hooked up with some stickers and the frag plugs were just an added bonus. So it's always good to start off the week with some free stuff. And uh, you know I could use these frag plugs and I really appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to do an update on the 180. Um, picked up some new corals, which I really didn't talk about too much last week. But uh, I haven't had an opportunity to get it to open up yet. I've been trying all kinds of funny stuff. I stuck a thing of three-quarter PVC pipe. And, uh, you know, this is not the best way to do it. But hey, I just decided to go ahead and try it. I put some uh, food in there. And uh, if this isn't target feeding, then I don't know what is. All right, so what kind of coral did I get? I got a non-photosynthetic or NPS coral. Uh, what that means is the light is not going to keep it alive. You do have to feed it. So um, I haven't been able to get it to open up. I picked it up from the LFS, the coral reef. And uh, I just haven't had the chance to see it open up yet. I know they said it opens up at night. But uh, I'm getting a little worried about it because it's been about three days and it hasn't opened up. They do eat meaty foods. Um, I, when I do feed my tank brine shrimp, I go ahead and squirt some that way. Um, the brine shrimp is kind of thick. Usually my frog spawns, they'll eat it up, the brine shrimp, with no problem. But instead I've been using a little bit of finer type of coral food. And let's see if it opens up. Um, my frog spawn right here is doing really good. Um, I really haven't been enjoying the view too much. Uh, up until now because I had a big old frag rack, but since I have the 40 gallon up I went ahead and I uh, moved it over there the dendro I kind of put it in the shade uh, That way it's not getting the full th thing of LED. I might try to change it up and make a Glue some rock or something so it'll be even more um, Covered from the light since it doesn't really need the light at all this next coral that I got, I got it a while ago from Reefer's Garage. I put it on that uh, Aquamax putty, and uh, it's doing really good now. Um, it's really enjoying the flow. I ended up sticking an RW15 uh, in the middle of the tank, kind of towards the bottom shooting up. Um, and it's, you know what, it's doing really good. The polyp extension is out. And the, as far as the color, it's kind of like a red golden uh, color. And that frag came from uh, reefers garage one of their sps packs that they were doing for 120 now one it started off with 100 dollars for 10 or 12 sps then they raised it up to 125 and now it's even more expensive it's not too expensive you don't really know what you're going to get but it is every time i see it it's going up in price so if you haven't done it think about doing it you'll get some nice pieces that uh, bird's nest on the top it's a big piece of bird's nest. It's as wide as my hand. It's just growing um, and it's doing really good. I put it on the top, you know, just to mess around because I didn't really want it anywhere else. But uh, my monopora right here is kind of uh, messed up due to the fact that I wasn't doing water changes for a while. So I'm sure my out dropped. I wasn't testing it, um, but uh, it did take a hit. Now, that's probably like the only thing that took a hit that and the Jedi mind trick right next to it. But the green Slimer, you can see it's branching. It's growing up all kinds of different directions because of flow and it's doing really good. I'm just going to leave it alone and continue to let it grow. Now, if you're looking for a few pieces, uh, I got that one from cultivatedreef.com. Check them out there doing sales all the time. Um, other than that, guys, the tank is doing really good. Um, I did take a hit, like I said, from not doing water changes. And uh, you know what? I'm back on schedule. The reason I was holding off is because um, I wanted to set up this 40-gallon. What I'm doing is today's going to be a water change day. So I'm going to change the water from my 180. And then I'm going to drain the water from the 40-gallon. Uh, and then the water that I drain from the 180 is going to go into the 40-gallon. So that way I'm not wasting so much water. and uh, you know, I'm just going to do it like that. I was doing that for my, when I had the 20 gallon set up. And before I wasn't doing it, the 20 gallon was all messed up. It was getting all full of algae. I started doing that and that algae problem went away. 
along with uh, the vinegar dosing. I do want to get a few more fish. Um, not trying to get crazy with it. I just want a little bit of small fish. I'd love to get me some more antheas, but healthy antheas, not some antheas that are just going to die and kill everything else. I'd like to get some small antheas, some different small fish, and a yellow tang. After that, I think I'd be good. I know I said I wanted a trigger before in the past. I thought about that. I said no. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I thought about adding some more wrasse. But you know what? My Melanaris wrasse does really good. I don't have a whole lot of sand in this tank because it's all uh, my sand bed is, de is uh, dedicated to corals. So we'll see what I decide to do. I am a reefer. Us reefers, we change our mind all the time. We see something that we think would make our reef look cool automated or whatever and we waste our money on that me on the other hand i am happy that i mostly waste my money on corals um if not i'd probably have an apex by now or some kind of better controller but you know what i always pick corals over fish and corals over equipment and on the side of this tank right here i have plenty of room to add more corals uh, i have all this dead space right here other than this Montipora, I put the Montipora towards the back, so I wouldn't have no shading. Uh, it could shade the back all it's want because I'm not going to stick coral there. But look at all this bare rock right here. This is a lot of real estate for some zoas, some sticks, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use it up on this side. And I still have the same thing on the other side of the 180. Now the 40 gallon from this week and last week, you can see that I have added a whole bunch of frags. I was fragging. Uh, I kind of cleaned it up. I'd like to get some nicer frag racks later on. But uh, to be honest with you guys, I have some black egg crate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that black egg crate. Replace this stuff right here. Um, this is the stuff that I was using for the 20 gallon. Make it a little bit nicer. Probably stick it on some uh, pillars or something and go from there. Yes, I know I have Aptasia. But hey, who doesn't? Uh, my tank right here is doing good. Uh, my rock structure is going to have some kind of zoas on there later on or something. But it is going to look good. And I have a bunch of empty frag discs. My purple stylos have all made it into the 40-gallon tank. Um, I figure that they'll be fine just because um, I have four T5 bulbs right here that are more than enough light for them. And they're going to do really good. Get more purple and stuff. Uh, you can see these zoas. I'm not trying to sell them right now. I'm just trying to grow them out and then eventually refrag and then grow them out some more and uh, just be on that crazy cat lady status, but with corals. Um, another thing that I did because my uh, skimmer was making all kinds of bubbles, I added another tube and a 90 degree elbow to the outlet of my skimmer because uh, I tried sticking some padding on the top. It just was ugly and I was having all kinds of bubble splatter all over the place. But since I did that, um, way better. I'm going to do the same thing with my return. And my return is, um, I ended up making it myself. It's just uh, three-quarter fittings. and uh, But I'm going to add another elbow so that it goes more into the water. My sump that I made uh, is doing really good. All, all it is on my sump is a 10-gallon sump. I was going to stick the full 20 underneath there. But I didn't want that 20 hogging up all the space uh, because... Uh, I did stick a five gallon bucket down there and that five gallon bucket with a lid is my auto top off nothing fancy I am going to probably stick a cover in the front because um, that way I can keep the dogs out of it and uh, it'll be even more quiet it's not loud or anything like that but uh, I'll just go ahead and cover it up stain it and cover it up the water's cloudy so I'm probably going to get some filter socks later on um, what I have been doing is uh I use a reactor and my reactor is stuffed with some filter floss and it's doing kind of a good job. Not as good as some filter socks would do, but uh, you know what, that's later on the road. As you can see, my skimmer did really good. Uh, my overflow right here is quiet. Um, I misplaced that mesh. I don't know what the heck I did with it, but I got to go find it and um, make it even quieter. You can see the reactor right here. Um, I pulled this reactor from the 180 to kind of clear out some water. And then until then, I'll go ahead and get some uh, filter socks. But it's working really great. For this 40 breeder, I'd like to get some DJ switches. 
Now the DJ switches illuminate when they have power going through it. You just turn them off and then it'll cut it off. That way you don't have to unplug it, everything the way that I've been doing it. Since having my RW15, I do like holding the feed button. That way I can shut off all the water flow. But if I had a DJ switch, I could just flick that sucker and then turn off my return pump and I'd be good to go. Um, other than that, the bulbs, you can see how they're spread out. The blue ones are the ATI uh, Blue Plus, and then the white ones are the ATI Coral Plus. So I have plenty of power to grow whatever coral that I like, um, SPS, but, you know, I'm not really into that SPS game yet. I am uh, dosing. I'm using uh, all the Aquamax line. I'm only dosing 2.5 ml a day for the 40-gallon and 5 ml a day for the 180 um but lesson learned i don't dose on top of the tank anymore i pour it in the sump so that way i don't burn out my coral and uh i just think that i was burning them out by putting them on the top i am using potassium i'm using a little bit of iodine the a and b the alk the calcium and uh, it's good stuff i do need to buy a little bit more of the a and b the alkalinity and calcium uh, because i am uh, going through it. I haven't been doing any water changes. I'm on a two-week water change uh, schedule now So instead of doing it every single week, I am doing it bi-weekly now as far as my dendro coral I was able to get it open. This is in its new spot opened up um, I took advantage and target fit it when it was up. This is about five o'clock in the morning First thing I did I got all excited pulled out my iPhone started recording it and uh, Like I said, I target fit it well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this update. Hope you guys are doing good. Who's watching that Game of Thrones? It's the season finale today. Also, watching that Ballers, guys. Thanks, guys. You have a good one. Like and subscribe. You guys take care. Laters.